All right, all right. Let the church say amen. As you can see the title up there, it's all God. It's all God. I can't take no credit. It's all God just for even thinking of me and using me and showing me the way. And I'm giving a shout out to my girl, Melissa. You was talking about the struggle behind, you know, all of the stuff I do or how I get to the level I'm on. And I don't have no problem doing this video, sister, because you made me think about a whole lot of things. And actually, I started giving God the thanks looking at your email. And let me say this off top. I'm not doing this video to boast and brag. I care less about all that. I'm not doing this for no hand clap. And you was talking about how was you learning? How did you learn everything without going to school? Like I say, my simple answer to that is God. Because yes, like you were saying, I am a producer. I know how to engineer. I know how to write. I know how to sing. <laughs> and I, I have not took, not one, didn't go to nobody's school. And I, I did an old video called, just because you don't have a degree don't mean you can't be successful. And the, 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 the question is, I throw back at you, sisters, how bad do you want it? See, I don't know who what you do. But the question I always tell people is, how bad do you want it? And let me say my old saying that me and my big brother Steve Harvey say, in order to succeed, you have to be willing to fail. You got to. And most of the time, we, when we fail one time, we want to stay down and give up and say, well, that wasn't for me. But when you fall, that's when you get back up the hardest and you keep pressing on. Sister, it took me years and years and years, and it's going to take me years and years and years. See, the thing is, when you make it, you got to figure out how you're going to stay up there. And, yeah, I have wrote a lot of songs, period. Sung a lot of them, played a lot of them, sold a lot of them, and... God gave me that gift from birth. And without going to school, see, I always tell people the school I went to was Nebo College. And people say, what's Nebo College? These old raggedy knees, I got down on my knees and I said, Lord, please show me the way. And he showed me that college wasn't for me. But what's crazy is that everything I wanted to go to college for and learn, God taught me. He taught me. So yes, your boy JT know how to do a lot of different things, but once again, I'm not saying it for no hand clap. I'm saying it to say to God, be the glory. You know, sister, some of the best singers didn't go to nobody's college, didn't take nobody's lessons. Some of the best athletes didn't go to nobody, nobody's college. Some of them came straight from the street, high school, went right into the NBA or whatever, whoever you are, whatever kind of sports you play. We see where a lot of people weren't able to go to school. And then we see where some went to school and still having a hard time and still lost. That's why I say it's when God teach me, I can't think of a better teacher than God. Some of the, be the best sermons that I've ever heard came from, preach from preachers who didn't go to seminary school because they was taught by God. That's why I say, but there's nothing wrong with getting an education. Get all the education you can. Get your degrees. Learn all you can. The sky's the limit. But education... Paperwork without God is just an educated fool. You just lost. That's why I say how many people were at, a lot of people going to, going to school to preach, but how many of them are calm? Just something to think about. And I always tell people, do something straight for six months to a year. That's what I did with the piano. And I used to be a drummer. But see, one thing about me is I like a challenge. I love a challenge. And when I say, when somebody tell me you can't do it, that's when it triggers my mind. Yes, I can. Because with God on my side, there's nothing too hard for me. I am, I can say I'm very successful, especially from where I came from. Where I came from, everybody did. And just to be alive sitting in this chair in this video, y'all was about to knock a tear out of my eye because I think about the goodness of the Lord and where he brought me from. And JT have taught millions of people how to play the piano. And JT didn't go to school. I even teach people that know how to read music that went to school older than me. And they'll say, what school did you go to? I say, God. Because JT took the time to sit down and learn year after year after year after year. I can't name how many years, how much blood, sweat, and tears behind it. Hope this video can help somebody. Because I'm one of the ones who didn't go to school. 
Same way with the word of God. I did the, 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 the word of God the same way I did the keyboard. Every day, every day, every day. Spending time with it. Learning who I'm talking about. Who's doing the talking. What is this book about? What is Genesis all about? Who is Paul? What did Paul do? Where did Paul come from? Who is Moses? Who was his mother? That's what I did for years and years and years. And God taught me the word of God. Do I know it all? No, I never will. But I have went from the front to the back. And I love doing it. I love the word of God. I love the piano, but I love the word of God more. Because that's what helped me live right. So I had I had one. That was another one of my goals to learn the Bible. To teach others what, what God is showing me that might, you know, can't understand the word of God. And God, when the Bible say the gift, make your gift will make room for you, you best to believe it because JT haven't clocked in in a while. I work on my own schedule. I'm my own boss. And I do my charity work with the food bank and everybody. But I'm my own boss. I can't tell you how much money I done made laying tracks, producing. I can sit right here, right in front of this camera with this keyboard right here and make a killing in one day. Next week might be slow. Week after, it might be, I, I, I'm too loaded up. And I have learned that it's going to be good days, it's going to be bad days. And I learned that if I could clock in and work all those years and all those overtime hours for somebody else, what was wrong with investing in my own time, doing it myself? So the question is, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I got on my knees and prayed, sister. But see, you got to put some actions with your prayer. You can't pray and just lay back and say, God, do it for me. Nah, you got to put in, you got to put in some time. You got to put in some hard work. You got to put in that, de that dedication. I hope some of the, uh, the musicians and ministers of music are looking at this video because you need to know the word of God. You need to know it. I did the keyboard, man. My mama, <laughs> my mom and daddy would tell you, everybody that know me would tell you, that boy never stopped. And I and 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 I when I learned the keyboard, I said I gotta learn the bass. I gotta learn that organ. And I used to get up early, go to the old church I was at seven days a week, drill myself on that organ, going through all twelve keys, going through whatever, to get to the next level. And let me say this too: you gotta get around people that's moving forward. Not moving backwards. That's why I thank God for people like Jamal Hartwell. When I start seeing that brother DVD, he said, this is another thing we don't want to do. We don't, we don't want to invest in our craft. We spend money on everything else that don't mean nothing to us, really. But when it comes to spending money on what you really need, we overlook that. Once I started buying the studio equipment that I needed, because the equipment will make your money back, plus more. This motif have made me, I don't know how much money. This Cubase, this studio software, I don't know how much money this stuff done made me. I don't even count. But this is my blessing. This is my living. I also know how to do computers. I was able to sit up under a, a guy by the name of Brother Jimmy Carter, as well as my big brother, Jimmy Carter. You know, he, he went to school. He went to college. He got degrees. Computer tech, like my boy Mitty Man. I know how to do it. I'm not going to say I know how to do everything Minute Man do because I have to ask Minute Man stuff. And he have taught me so much through the net. And I am able to work on computers. I don't know how much computers, how many computers I done fixed and sold. That's good money, people. This money is out there to make it the right way. Like I was telling my girl, uh, Lisa, working on cars. My papa, if you don't know nothing about Papa JT, he was a, a coal mechanic. Papa JT build racing car motors, him and his brother. Papa JT can hear your car coming down the street and tell you what's wrong with it and, and tell you how long life it got left in it. He did me like that on how many times. Your motor going to go out in one week. I'll be damned. It went out in one week. That's the ur he had for motors. That's Pop. That was Pop's gift. Working on those cars and singing. Pop is very gifted. And we are all, what I love about his sister, we are all different. And how God gives this one that gift, that one got that gift. Though you can't play like me, or I can't play like you, or I can't sing like you, we are all a blessing to be a blessing to others. That's why when I used to get up under them cars and still do it time, like I was telling Lisa, I don't do it all the time no more like I used to. But matter of fact, me and my boy was back there looking at her, um, doing some stuff on a 350 last night. Because it's fun. It's a challenge. 
even electronics, that was my fear because ever since I was little, I would pick up stuff off the street just to fix it. And my mama would laugh at me and, and, and daddy would say, you know you're going to fix it. Well, whether it was a TV or VCR, I would take the back of stuff open and, and, and go through it. I was also a fabricator. I learned how to fabricate, make tabletops and windshields and all kind of stuff. So God blessed me with all. It's like I went to school anyway, but I didn't pay no money. All I had to do was just put the time in. And that is a blessing. To be able to sit in this chair and work for myself and help others and know what I'm doing, that's a blessing. I have that love. You got to love what you do because if you don't love what you do, I also be doing little plays a lot, man. People put put me in their plays. That's why you see me acting a lot on her. Uh, he, boy, he should have been an actor. It just God bless me. And this is why I say I stir up my gift, not just music. I stir up every gift that God gives me. And most people are going to tell you, your gift was just for church. I disagree. <laughs> because God never told me to just, you're going to just stay churchy, churchy. Nah, that's not me. That's that's to the, to the holy and die, folks, you know. God gave me creation, creativity, and it's awesome, and I use it because that's who I am. I said one day, I want to learn how to sing. I stood in this room hours and hours and hours and taught myself with the keyboard because I said it don't make sense that I know every key. How can I not learn with this keyboard right here? Now, I'm not the greatest singer in the world, but I believe I can hold it down. And once, once you know you can do you, you don't you don't get intimidated by people cuz I don't care who I come up behind who's in front of me I'm going I'm not a performer I'm a praiser I give God the glory and I get out of the way That's why I say my mom and them used to laugh at me man I done fixed so many people vacuum cleaners TVs that computer over there in that corner came I don't got I don't know how many computers off the street and many man people threw them away just because they needed a power supply good computers still have the memory in there Cause you know another man's, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Pretty much everything in this house, it don't look like it, but it probably came off the street or somebody, somebody gave it to me. And I'm being honest when I say that those beautiful couches right there, my boy, he loved them couches. My pastor gave them to me. You know, I mean, it's a lot of stuff I fix up and paint it and make it look nice. Because that's a, that's another thing I like to do, be creative, not just with music, but. Even this house, I painted this house. I did my own restroom. I try to put the flow in. I try to do all kind of stuff. These hands ain't just for playing music. They for a whole lot of different things too. So that's what I used to tell my old lady. Boy, it's, 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 it's anointing in these hands. And it's power with these hands. I used to tell these these hands ain't just for rubbing them keys. They also for rubbing on you. <laughs> so with that being said, man, sister, I, I hope this helped you out. Yeah, oh, you was talking about cars. Yeah, I, I, I remember when I put my, my first transmission in in my Lincoln, man. And, and if you know anything about Ford, if you got to line up that, that torque converter, <laughs> that flywheel, and if you don't get it lined up right, yeah, you're going to have to pull that baby back out. So with that being said, love everybody. Take care and have a beautiful, blessed day. Peace. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Whatever you are doing. Do you want to go higher or do you want to stay where you at? I'm going to try to get to the highest of hostivity. Peace. I don't even know if that was a word.